Hey everybody, it's Tanya at Hummingbird Paintery. Tonight it's raining on a Wednesday night here in Memphis, Tennessee. I actually live in Bartlett, as y'all know, and I'm gonna make this church over. I had done this well before I went on um, my trip uh, for the Sparkle event, but I just haven't done it until now. <clears throat> and I just wanna show y'all what I've done with it. If you are interested in a kit to do your own church, then you can get that from Lindy at Tater Buggin. Um, it is raining really hard here. I hope that my internet will stay and we won't have any problems or anything, but I just wanted to let y'all know um, just in case it goes out and I can't get back on. Hey, Miss Pat Tyner. Hey, Miss Nancy. How are you doing? Hey, Miss Jerry. How are you doing? Hey, Doris. It's so good to see you. Sorry that I'm late. Um, I got off late and then the traffic was really bad. Somebody had gone off the road and everybody was sitting there looking at it. Hey, Michelle, I'm doing well. Um, just hungry, actually. Hey, Patricia, it's so good to see you. Thank you for coming on. So, um, I've got a four by four here that I cut into a point. Okay, and this is pretty heavy, you know, just like a fence board, a fence post. Hey, Miss Janice, it's good to see you. Thank you for coming on. Hey, Miss Patty Price, how are you doing? So, I cut this. It's probably about a foot long, um, and I did this a long time ago. Hey, Miss Patricia and Miss Tony, how are you doing? I also got a piece of fence board. I'm going to use this as my bottom but I'm not gonna do that on the live today. I will connect it after I've already painted everything. I didn't wanna paint it with this on here. I kinda like this as the bottom the way it is. Hey, Miss Patty Willard and Miss Linda, how are you doing? Sorry, I hit the, the thing there. All right, so um, I'm just gonna pick which one. There's a line right here, so I do not want that as my front. This will be my front right here with a little knot on it. It doesn't matter. Hey, Lori Fry, how are you doing? Staying dry, Miss Patty? Hey, Miss um, Debbie, it's good to see you. Hey, Shalon, how are you doing? Are you feeling any better? <laughs> Thank you, Patty. <clears throat> so I've got two pieces of two by four that I'm going to put next to this to make this look like a church. I've got two pieces of, I don't know what you want to call this wood. I can't remember, but it's thin. It's a quarter inch plywood, I guess. Um, and I've cut that out for my door. I had a necklace that I got in an estate sale. Hey, Miss Pat. So good to see you. And I cut this piece. This actually came on a necklace. And so I cut it because I wanted to use this as my door handles. Hope I didn't get any paint on me because I got this paint open right here. It's good to see you. I got these two little uh, crosses from the Dollar Tree. And I bought these. I can't remember where I got these, but... I got two of them for the windows. Hey, Miss Carol, how are you doing? Hey, Carolyn, it's so good to see you. Hey, Melissa Dickerson, it's good to see you. All right, I made these. These are partly from a fence board and I cut those out for the top and the tops of this. Hey, Miss Sharon, it's good to see you. And then I've got another piece, which I think this is part of a palette and I cut this for the top of this right here. It's gonna go on top. And um, so what we're gonna do is paint the church a cream color, which is gonna be the Waverly Plaster. Hey, Miss Hannah, long time no see, girl. So we're gonna highlight with this kind of medium gray color. This is from Craft Smart, and it's kind of a medium shade. It's not dark. And it's not light either. Thank you, Miss uh, Patty, for doing that. Now, if it, like I'm t I said to begin with, my finger, I have a blister on it right there. It's, um, it's okay. I just, and I need to take it off so it'll breathe. Hey, Sharon and Miss Janet, Miss Kathy, thank you for coming on. So, let me find my big one. Okay, this is my big brush, and we want to paint this. Um, so hopefully this will look good, but we're going to paint this. 
and these pieces here, the cream color, okay? I know I hate blisters. I've been trying to get it healed with some, uh, what do you call that stuff? Um, oh, y'all know what you put on boo-boos. <laughs> so, um, I put it, put that on there in a band-aid at work. Hey, Miss Robin, how are you doing? I'm going to talk while I'm looking here. Y'all's comments. Now, this part right here is going to be covered up. So, you really, yeah, Neosporin, that's what it is. Lord, if I didn't have y'all to help me, I lose my words on here and everything. Sometimes I wonder. I just hope I don't get dementia too, too soon in life. But I feel like I have so much going on, I can't remember my words. Do y'all do that too? Yep, Neosporin. That's exactly right. Only it was more like a Bassett Tracing type of thing. Same thing um, from work that I used. So I'm just going to paint this the creamish color. A lot of churches are white. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you for those stars. I appreciate that. But what I was going to say before I got off on my finger um, here um, was that if you are interested in a church, Lindy Taterbug and sells a kit that's similar to this, but hers isn't a 4x4. Four four. It's different, um, but it's sim very similar. So if you do want to uh, get one, then you can go over to Taterbug and Page and get that. Because this is very heavy. And it just wouldn't be real good. Hey, Miss Linda Creedon, how are you doing? It wouldn't be good to ship out this because it's so heavy. But I just thought it would look good with a 4x4. Four four. And I am going to put the whole thing on that piece of um, wood that I have <clears throat> left over from fencing. I appreciate that. Alright, so let's hope I don't sling some paint on my shirt. But we'll try here. I'm going to do, I did sling it a little bit. So I'm going to sling this over. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to cover this up. It's just got like one of those little cracks in the wood. It's not going to really make any difference. I'm going to kind of put paint in between there and hopefully it'll, you know, fill it in instead of looking like a crack. But who knows? I'll get this little piece off right here. I'm telling you, these last couple of weeks at work have been so hard <clears throat> and trying on me. I was like, man, I got to go home now and get on alive. <laughs> and I'm so tired and hungry. I'm hungry. And this would look good stained as well, but I just didn't want the stain look. Did y'all have a good day? Is it raining where you are? Do y'all like the way the lighting is and the camera? Because I did it a little different today. I was going to see if I could do it. I almost didn't think I could figure it out. Hey, Miss Becky Butler. Yeah, hangry. Isn't that the truth? I am. I'm hangry. <clears throat> but I'm here with y'all. Hey, Miss Deborah. Just don't get hungry on us. <laughs> It'll be all right. I'll manage. I did go in there and get a couple pieces of chicken out of the refrigerator and just started eating them before I got on here. Hey, Terry Cavanaugh. How are you doing? Taco chili. It's okay that you're late. I'm just doing this one, one coat of this on this. I'm not going to do the top because it's going to be covered. And those pieces like the shingles is what I call it. The shingles. Hey, Lynn Peak. How are you doing? Rained all day in St. Louis? Uh, for sure. I'm just tired of winter. I don't know about y'all. Let me see here which one's going to be my front. Okay, this is going to be the front part, so I'm a, i got to make sure. Let me see if I can move this out of the way so y'all can see. Put these right here. 
I'm going to do one at a time, and then we'll let them dry and everything. And then we'll do all the accents, like the door and the windows and all that. We're going to do it that medium shade of gray. I'm going to do it different than a traditional church. Now, this part also is going to have a piece of wood on it that's going to be gray, and you don't have to go all the way over that. So I'm not going to do that because that's a waste of paint when it's covered up. If it were going to be showing, I may want to do that, but it's not really. So we're not going to do it that way. Miss Pat, do you um, are you able to get Lindy's link like I had on the page and put it on here um, in case anybody's interested in buying one? Because she's got those kits in case you want a church of your own. If you can't, that's okay. Thank you. Who's new? Who's new? Dee Dee? Did I see a Dee Dee on there? Thank you for coming on. We're always happy to have somebody in our family. Thank you, Miss Pat. All right, let me do this side real quick and I'll let it dry. The good thing about not really painting on the top is that you can put your finger on there and hold it up better. I think this thing kind of makes me look better. <laughs> do y'all think so? Or maybe it's just me and I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So I'm going to get these little edges off of here where I've gone over. I'm just going to move this a little bit. Ooh, I got a little paint on me. Oh, well. Hey, Linda Tanner. How are you doing? So these are some of my scrap pieces of wood. And that's how I made it. I'm gonna do both sides because it's gonna be front and back. You know, it'll be able to be turned around. Always look good. I don't know if I always look good. I changed my shirt really quick. I grabbed some chicken. You should have seen me eating on that chicken. It was so good. I got one of those rotisserie chickens. Thank you for those hearts. Um, at Sam's Club. And, it, oh, it was good. Good, good, good. You know, sometimes I think that I was not born wealthy enough. So I could have me somebody to cook. Because I don't like to cook. I will cook if I have to. I have to have lunch and dinner sometimes without going out all the time. Are y'all like that? Hey, Vicki Snyder and Maria. Praying you're doing... Yes, I'm doing well, Miss Ta uh, Miss Linda. I was going to say Miss Tanner. <laughs> rotisserie chicken. Yeah, rotisserie chicken's really good. All right, now let me dry this, and then I might... Let me just put that down without doing anything to get the um, paint off. Because I know I'm going to need a second coat because I can see the wood through there. It really doesn't matter if it shows, I guess. Hey, Miss Sheila, how are you doing? Arkansas. I didn't do any crackle effect or anything like that on it. I'm going to try to go around it a little bit. to make it dark on the edges with the, the gray. Hey, Miss Linda Cox, how are you doing? I have so many cats and Miss Linda's. All right, let me see if I can do this one. Hey, Marilyn, how are you doing? You love to cook, it's rare for me to eat out. Well, I eat out more than I should lately because of the, hey, Deb's new again. How are you doing? Um, because my microwave is still not in. Hey there, Miss Sherry. 
And there's Tater Bug in the, the Wood Church kit. So y'all can uh, go over there if y'all are interested in purchasing one. Hey, Miss Gail. This really isn't too bad. I need to do a little bit right there at the bottom. I may not have to do the whole thing. Just a little bit. So I'll say this smells. Hey, Margaret. How are you doing? Hey, Miss Anita. So good to see y'all. All my friends are here. Why is everything so blurry? It's supposed to be blurry behind me. And it's supposed to be on me. Which, that's what I was saying, that it looked better on me. <laughs> like that. I'm doing well, Miss Margaret. Let me see here. This little thing is on here. I want to get it off. Alright, so this one was pretty good. It didn't need too much, too much extra. Hey, Elaine Smith. How are you doing? But that's the reason it's, it's this way. I just wanted to try it out to see what it looked like and see what y'all thought about it. It's supposed to be more on the, you know, focused on me and the project instead of the background. All right, I don't think that this one's gonna need that much either. Let me just get one little bitty bit right here. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's it's not real, um, it doesn't need two coats, but this one might for a little bit. Woo, don't you drop my water. I'm going to put those down there. Hey, Kathy Lawson and Rose, Rosie Richardson, how are you doing? Hey, Denise Turner, how are you doing? I'm going to lean this over. So, I don't know if y'all like it or not. If y'all want it to go back the other way, we can. I've got so much stuff. I'm making a church, Miss Sherry. Let me try to do this. I think this is the back, actually. All right, let me see if the other side is the better side. It is. <clears throat> let me see here. We're gonna just put a little bit more on it and then we'll dry it and see if we can do the gray. I just want it to look pretty on the front, especially sides in the back not so much but you'll see this is just what I liked and everybody does it different Lindy's was really cute all right this side didn't have as good a coverage on it as the rest of it so I'm gonna go ahead and paint I mean dry this let me get this out of the way and dry this part. <laughs> I did a different technique on it, uh, Deanne. Hey, Vivian. It's supposed to be more focused on me and the item that I'm making. Facebook change your personal stuff. Don't know how to change it back. Oh, no. I hate that. And if I can help you in any way, I'll try. I don't know if I'll know or not, Miss Margaret. But if there's something specific, you might can ask ask me. If you sell kits, don't you want them to see the ones you have done to get them to buy? <clears throat> On um, Lindy's page, she has done hers, and this is just one that's similar. And there it is again. Miss Pat put up her her um, link. Yeah, it does make it clearer, doesn't it? I feel like I'm clear. I don't know. But I'm not paying attention to the back. I'm trying to pay attention to y'all's words and stuff. All right, let me see. I got a little bit of paint right there. All right. So this isn't a perfect 4 by 4 Let me dry the back just a little bit because I'm going to um, let it lay on its back. 
You like seeing you and what you're doing. You like it. Thank you so much, Sherry. Yeah, I'm just trying it out to see what everybody thinks. If y'all don't like it, I'll go back to normal. I'm not sure I can even figure it out to do it again. <laughs> but I, I thought I would try. All right, let me get my little thing so I can get my fingers clean. Thank you for those stars, Jason. How are you doing? Think you are clearer as well. I like it like this, but you know, if y'all don't like it though, I don't mind changing it back next time. Hey, Miss Yvonne, how are you doing? You like it, Miss Lynn? Whatever reason, I'm not seeing the link. I'll post the link again. I did put it on my page when I said that I was going to do this this afternoon. I did it this morning about 8 or 9 o'clock. So if y'all want to go back and look at it on there if you can't see it. Because Miss Pat is doing um, all of that and it just goes by really fast. So, you know, I, if you don't get the link, I'll put it on here later, okay? I just couldn't do it because I was kind of rushing. So, alright, I've got this. Now what we're going to do is put this on its back, but this is the back, okay, because I want the good smooth part on the front, okay, and we're going to do it this way, let me see, what do I want for which side? Alright, it's going to be like this, alright, but it's going to look, it looks weird right now with this, but it's not going to be. First, we're going to just move that out of the way, and we're going to paint this gray, okay? Because these are the parts that are going to be up at the top. This is going to be the way it is. I'm going to leave it brown. This was that piece of a necklace that I cut in half. Hey, Miss Janice. And let me make sure which way these are going to go. They're going to go this way. So i got to make sure that this is the top. And these, I've taken it and done an angle to it. And they're also going to be like this. So I have to make sure this is the top. Hey, Jenny Ramirez. It's good to see you. And these could go either way. But I'm going to use these. And this is the way the door is. So we're going to use this gray right here. Which is just called gray by Craftsmart. So we'll put all of this together once we get it painted. Thank you, Miss Pat, for the link. And if y'all don't see the link, it's okay. I'll post it. They're really cute. They're going to be a little bit different than mine, okay? Because I just cut mine out. Alright, so let me see here. I'm going to get all the white out of this for the cream color. You like the way, too? You can always take pictures of what you have displayed. Yes. <coughs> For sure. Yeah, I'm going to post this when I get done with it. Got some little fuzzies at the bottom. Alright, so this is kind of a medium tone. And I'm going to do this. I'm not going to do the bottom because it's going to be at the top here and you don't see all that. So we're just going to do the sides and the top. I like churches just simply because you can keep that out all year. And you don't have to worry about, you know, having to change it out. You could put something extra on it, like a wreath or whatever for Christmas. And I was going to do it for Christmas, but then I forgot about it. So I just haven't done it. So I'm just going to take this. See, I didn't do this side. And I'm just going to set it over here to the side so it can dry. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Hey, Mary Ellen, it's so good to see you. So see, this is the piece that I cut out and then I slanted it on the, the edges here so it would reach up there together. You're going to go to the church? Okay. Well, thank you for going over there. Hopefully you'll get one. I'm not even sure how much they are. I didn't pay attention to that when I put the link up there. It is getting to look like a church. It's going to be pretty with the gray, I think. 
I was going to do a gray church, like a light gray with a little bit of darker gray, but I decided not to. I'd rather do it cream color because you see most churches are like that. Let me see here. I'm going to lean that to the side. We're going to do gray for the doors. Everything's going to have gray accent. Hey, Angela Cook, how are you doing? Yeah, it'll be pretty. I'm going to go ahead and do the bottoms, but you're not really going to see those. Same thing with the back. Let me see. Okay, this is the front. You don't have to do it because I'm just going to glue these to this. And you don't have to do the back. But I'm going to kind of hold it on the sides here and paint the front of it. So mine's a little bit different. I don't know. I think maybe I want it on this side. Well, heck, I don't know. Let me just do both on this one. It's kind of got some little frayed edges. And I don't want it to be frayed right there. So I'm going to try to, I'm going to do this side instead. Lindy's got a lot of cute things in her um, little shop besides the church, but the church is just one of her newer things, and it's really cute. I probably will sell this church, you know, on the auction. But I just don't want to be selling a bunch of them because they're just so heavy. I don't even know how much it would cost to um, ship this. And hers is a little bit thinner, I think. Thank you, Miss Pat. So I'm going to get some more paint out. I need more. Now watch, I won't be able to squeeze it. I did a little bit. Hey, Miss Tammy Johnson, how are you doing? Thank you for being on here. So I'm doing the sides here, and I'm going to use this as the top. Y'all see it come together. It's going to be pretty. Hey, Marie, my buddy. How are you doing? If y'all don't follow Marie with Treasure Box Creations, you'll have to follow her. She and I are really good friends. She's like the sister I never had. Because <laughs> all I have are brothers, stupid brothers. <laughs> So, they're not really stupid. They're smart, actually. But, you know, boys instead of girls. Hey, Miss Beverly. It's good to see you. Oh. Well, it's okay because we're going to put the door there. Since I slung some paint on there. Y'all like the color being gray and white, or gray and cream? All right, so I got those. I'm gonna lean that against that. We wanna do this also. I think I'm gonna do these white, because I'm gonna put them on top of the um, windows. So I'm just gonna do these on the front. It may slip over, maybe I need to do it in the middle. I wasn't gonna do it in the middle, But I'm going to do it in the middle because I'm kind of making a mess. So I'm kind of doing some on the inside too. So I better do it in the middle too. I know. We hardly ever see each other. Are you home? You've been silent. It's okay, Miss Janice. You can be silent. I know you're there. Nobody has to really say anything all the time. Alright, boy, this is a tedious little thing, having to do the middle. We're almost done, though. Then we can construct it. 
See, and I wasn't going to put all this in the middle. But I guess I have to since I'm sloppy. Sloppy girl, sloppy girl. All right. I think I got it all. All right, let's see. I'm going to put that over here. We're going to get the other one. I'm going to need some more paint. It's going to be beautiful. I hope so with this color. I don't think I've seen anybody do it, even though I've seen churches. I haven't seen anybody do gray and cream color. Yes, I'm doing the new video effect to see if it's good or not. We're going to see. I don't know if everybody likes it or not. Hey, Miss Carol Crowder, how are you doing? Boy, this middle part's the hardest. Maybe I need to do it first. Got it all over my hands and everything. I'm being sloppy tonight. Yeah, do you like it? Almost. Okay, on this side, everything. On this side, everything. Not quite. Alright, let me do the edges. Ooh, this is going to be pretty. Do y'all think that it ought to be black on the back? I kind of was going to do, um, you know, all the different colors like windows are. Alright. I'm going to dry these and get rid of all this stuff on my hands as much as I can. Buried the background. Oh, blurred the background. Yes, it makes you feel dizzy. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, then maybe I don't need to do it then. You don't have it yet? Yeah, you do. You have it on your phone. You miss seeing the stuff in the background? Well, I don't have to do it. Yeah, the stained glass. Yeah, I was going to do it that. Is that what you want me to do, Miss Patty? What I'm going to do is kind of draw those once I dry them. Thank you for the hearts. Mm -hmm. I think I got it. Um, and then we'll know where to do the stained glass on top of this. And then I will um, put it back over it. Blurring out your background. I like to see your creations in the background. Okay. Okay. Well, next, I know that now, so we don't have to do this, honest. I um, just thought I would try it and see what it was like. Hey, Miss Donna, how are you? That's what you said? <laughs> okay. All right, let me do this. Maybe I won't even put these on there then if we... Because I was going to do maybe black behind there, like the windows closed. Hey, Miss Brenda. We'll make sure we get all this, especially on the back. If you still have some paint on the back of it, you want to make sure it's dry or it will not glue down very well. So I'm going to make sure all of this is dry. And that there's no wetness on the back. Same thing here. Because I did do this side. This one's almost dry. I kind of like it a little bit with the wood showing through. Alright, now here's this. got to get the back good and dry because I did paint through there. It's a church. It's going to be a church. It looks kind of funny right now. Laying there, a big blob of cream. All right, now i got to do this one real quick. Ow! Hot. Now, 
This one doesn't look like it has any on there, so it's pretty good. Gosh, hot, hot. Okay, so let me figure it out. We're going to go ahead and put the top on. It's giving you a headache trying to keep focusing. We'll just focus in on my project instead of the background just for this time because I think I have to do it beforehand. So I'll fix it and we won't do it again. I don't want to make y'all dizzy. All right. So what I did was I cut these pieces and I made them just like this, but instead it's going to be bumped up against here. Okay. And we're going to use the glue. Let me get some another glue stick because I know I'm about to run out. It's right at the edge, so I'll have to use some. So what I'm going to do is put a good amount of hot glue, and I need to put a little bit of the other glue. Should have done that first. I'm going to try really fast. Oh, come on. Doesn't want to come out. Well, all right. Let's just see what we can do. For some reason, it doesn't want to come out. Let me see if I can get another one. That's a brand new one. But I'll put it on the other one just to make sure. Hey, Sharon. Thank you for coming on. All right. Thank you for the hearts. Hey, Laurel. How are you? All right. So I put a good amount on this, and you just want that to butt up against here. So I'm trying to put them right here on the edge. And just hold them for a second. Hey there, Miss Glenda. Rome, Georgia. Thank you for coming on here and watching me. I hope you enjoy this. The camera is a little different today. Normally I have it on regular, but it's blurred the background. Hey, Miss Sharon Tisdale, thank you for watching. We're gonna do the same thing to the top, okay? And I'm going to put these together. I just don't have them together yet. But we're going to do that. I just want to be able to do one at a time. You're doing good. Thank you. I'm doing well too. Alright. So let me see how this goes. we got to make sure that they butt up against each other right here. And it's going to be just like that. Okay. So let me take this and put a little bit on here and then do the hot glue. Yeah, you'll like all the people here. They're very friendly and sweet, and they help me, and we're, we're family. So, welcome to the family. All right. Let me just butt this up here, even though I've only got the one. And just remember that when you do the uh, hot glue and the glue gel together, or the glue hot, whatever this is called, um, the super glue gel that it makes a smell, okay? So I put them together anyway. And then we took it off so we can do this one. I'm trying not to put it together because it makes a smell, makes a bad smell. All right, so we're buttoning it up against each other and then I'm just kind of holding them together. Hey, Francine. It's good to see you. Thank you for anybody who's new on here. I'm so happy you're here. All right, so now we've got our pieces, okay? These are the two sides of the church, and this is the, this is the back, though, but this is the front of the church right here, and I did get a little bit of paint right there, so we'll fix that. I guess I stuck my finger on there. Um, you can get a kit for a church on Lindy's Tater Buggin page. Um, this is not a kit because it's a 4x4 four four and it's really heavy. I wasn't intending on selling these. This one will be sold on the auction. Man, I touched a lot of stuff. Let me fix it. There was something else too. This one right here. My fingers touch everywhere, but everything can be fixed. So, 
I did pretty good. There we go. All right, let me get this. Hopefully I won't stick my hand in it again. And on the other side, could finish nails be, yeah, you could, you sure could, absolutely. You could do finish nails. I just glued it because I just glued it. All right, I'm gonna close this for now. This is what I wanna do. Let me get my fingers clean again so I don't touch it again. Oh, <laughs> what is that? A little fire thing, that's cute. Yeah, you can buy the uh, church, buy something similar um, on Tater Buggins' page. All right, so I'm going to lean this down. This is pretty, this is glued on here really well, and I did use the glue gel, so I'm going to lean it down, okay? Then we're going to put these just to the side here because I'm going to put these on here. Let me make sure there's no wet paint. The other side of the 4x4. Four four. What about it? Oh. <laughs> I knew I saw some somewhere. Okay. We'll fix it. There. Part of it's going to be covered up. Part of it not. Let me see. See, y'all can see stuff I can't see, and I thought I could see everything, but I'm not. All right, let me do this again. <laughs> the side you see. All right. So, this is the back, because it has that crack in there from the wood. All four by fours are kind of messed up anyway because they're really used for fencing. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just set these on here. Let me make sure this doesn't have any and it's all dry, okay? I'm gonna set it on here about wherever I want it. We're not gonna glue it down yet because I'm gonna take a pencil. If we're gonna do stained glass, what color should our stained glass be? Are the side pieces a two by four? Yes, ma'am, Miss Laurel. They're two by fours, and this is a four by four. And Lindy's, I don't know what hers are made out of. I think hers are just a one by whatever width it is. But she's got it on there. Uh, let me see here. Let me get my pencil if I can find one. There's a pencil. got a pencil but it's one of these deep ones let's see we're just gonna eyeball this I'm not gonna take any measurements or anything hey there Kathy thank you for coming on blue red yellow and green okay so I'm gonna do it this way I'm just gonna barely put a little bit I say I am. We're going to do the best we can. So let me see here. I've got golden yellow, but we can make it a little bit lighter. I don't know. It kind of looks like this though, doesn't it? So we're going to put a little bit of this. We're going to put a little bit of, you said red, yellow, green, gold, red, green. Okay. I'm going to use, I think this color, a little bit of red. And is it this color green? I bet it won't be that dark whenever I do it. Or is it this color green? Which one do y'all like? Y'all said green, but I can't really remember. And then um, blue, red, green, yellow, gold. Red, green, yellow, or gold. Just three colors. So a green, which one? This one or this one? The darker, okay. Thank you, thank you. All right. All 
Must have a booger in there. Man, why do I always get the ones with boogers? We'll have to open it up. I don't think we're going to need that much. Yep, there's the booger. All right. <clears throat> so, we're just going to take a smaller brush and we're going to do a little bit. I'm just going to do it kind of mixed all, all in together. Just some blobs is what I'm going to call it. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm getting it kind of close. I don't want it to be all the way to the edge. We're going to do all the yellow. I don't know if this is the right way or not, but we're doing it this way. They're going to be a little bit different. Just like that. Let me do a little bit more right here. All right. Now, I'm going to get the yellow out, and we're going to do the other. Where did I get the windows? I got them from, like, a Woodpeckers or one of those other wood cutout places. <clears throat> I got it on Etsy, probably. Now, I'm kind of making this look a little wet. We're just going to see. I don't want it to look red, red. They look not so good right now. <laughs> All right. Let me get the red on this side. I just hope I do enough because this is the outside and you know it's got like a little rim on it right there so it's not going to, it'll be covered up. So we're going to see. The church keeps going blurry then clear. I'm sorry. Maybe it's not a good thing to do it that way. I won't do it again. I just thought I would try. All right. So I did it a little bit different. Now I'm going to do the green. And I want it a little bit watery too. We don't want it to be perfect green. I'm just going to fill these in. Ooh, I hope it looks better than it does right now. <clears throat> I guess we're going to find out. Let me do it a little bit down here on this side. We want it to all kind of blend together. 
I'm going to do it just a little bit right here. All right, we're going to see if that works. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Yeah, I went too far a little bit. But it looks good, though. Let me get my eraser if I can find that. Lord, I took it in there in the living room. I think I'll just paint it. <clears throat> just where the lines are. It's probably easier. I'm trying to find my eraser. Let's see if that works. It's pretty. Thank you. Hey, Miss Pat. Another Miss Pat. All right. Let me see. let me dry this. Yeah, I've kind of made it a little bit too big, so I'm going to have to... Now, how did that happen? Because I put the line on there. Isn't that weird? A little bit on the edge there. What I would suggest doing, if you do this on yours, is drawing it on here and then going around it with your paint instead of doing it and then putting it on there and trying to trace it. Hey, Miss Gail Wetson, how are you doing? Let me see if this one did. I'm going to do just a little bit right here at the top because it seems like I went up just a little too far. Alright, that's pretty good. Let's see if this one is. And this one's good too. So, hey, we did it. <laughs> it's going to look so pretty. Thank you. Hey, Miss Ruth, how are you doing? Thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. All right, so let me see what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take some of this, okay, and we're going to put it around the edges. And I'll put a little hot glue as well. We're just going to put some on the edges here and one in the middle. Just a little, little dotty dot. And putting this here, we're just going to put some dots on it. It's a little bitty piece of wood. It's not very heavy. Alright. Let's see. Right. Just make sure that you get it where you want it, though. If you put the dots of the glue on here, it's going to stick pretty quick. So make sure you do that if you decide to purchase one from Lindy. Alright. Let me try to put some little dots on here, too. I'm 
trying to do a very thin little area. I see a little bit, but it's not bad. We'll fix it. And then the creamy color, I got just a little bit right there where I couldn't see. And we're just gonna fix that where the yellow is. I'm just touching everything. All right, so now it's looking good. All right, let me show you that. And these are gonna be closer up to this part instead of in the back like it is. Let me get the doors on. See how, I don't know. They kind of shard just a little bit. I'm gonna take these, put some of this, and also the, the hot glue as well. dot here and a little bit in here now I'm going to put them together and then set them down right so now those are on there now I wanted handles but I didn't have anything I could have put just a bead on there but I thought these would look cool if they were on here let me get the good side and make the circle like it would normally be right there for the handles <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna hot glue these just putting a little dab of glue. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Just pick whichever side you like. Ooh, that, oh, it's hot. Let me see if it'll go on now that it's touched me. No. <laughs> so let me do it again. <laughs> hey, Beverly. It's good to see you. All right, let me do this again. Since I touched it. Try not to touch it. Touch that hot glue. Man. We'll just take that little bit of hot glue off of there, just like that, with the pointy stick. That way you don't see that. I got some over here too. It's hard to keep it from getting a little bit underneath there. All right, so that's on. This is on, this is on, and these are on, okay. Now, I wanted to put a cross on there, and so I got one of these from um, Totally Dazzle. Hey, She Shed Crafting with Renee. How are you doing, Renee? Thank you for coming on here. And this is one of those, what color is that? It's not silver or gold, it's that other color. I don't know, but I thought it would look pretty up here, so we're gonna put this right here. You could put a little wreath on here. You don't have to put this. But um, I just like it because it is a church. It's okay, Miss Danielle. All right, so let me get this. We're going to put a little bit up in here. And 
and then I'm going to get some hot glue. Let's see if I can do this. I'm going to go ahead and put it on here so it's going to smell. Just putting a little, little here and there, a little dab. We want it as much in the middle as we can. And I'm going to try to press on it a little bit because it's not exactly flat. Thank you. Let's see. It'll glue on here, but this isn't exactly flat. It's almost flat, but not quite, okay? So let me take these, and we're going to put these kind of close, but you want them in just a little bit. So I'm going to glue these. We're going to take this and put some glue on it. Thank you, and I'll turn it around so y'all can see for the big reveal. Let me do the same thing on this side. We'll do one at a time. And if there's any little areas that we need to fix, we can do that. So I'm going to lean this over and make sure that I don't get too much. I'm going to make a big bunch right in here. And then we're going to put it wherever we want to. I'm just putting it a little bit back. Not the whole way. And it's not really in the center either. It's just kind of a little bit more this way. And then we're going to do the same thing to this. Let me... Get right there. And then we want it to be even. So... Looks about right. I'm going to push, push, push. Hey, Tanya Garcia. How are you doing? Tanya's my name. You might say Tanya. I don't know. Okay. Here it is. Ready? <laughs> here it is. Now, this right here is the bottom. And I'm going to put this on here like this. And I'm going to screw it to the bottom of this so it'll have a place to sit. And if you move it back a little bit, you can put a couple of um, trees on here and make it look pretty. But you don't have to do that. You can... Thank you. I'm so glad y'all like it. Thank you for the hearts. Let me see if I can lean it up here. Let me hold it like this because it's just easier. Now, I don't have it screwed in yet, but this is my rendition of the church. Thank you so much, Patricia. Thank you, Miss Patty. Thank you, Miss Pat, Miss Sharon, Miss Vicki. Y'all are so sweet. It'll be a lot better on this piece of wood, and then you could put like a tree or two on there or add a bench. You're right, Miss Jerry. I don't have a bench. wonder if I have a bench. I might have a bench. I'll have to look for it. Thank you. Hey, Miss Connie. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, Barbara. How are you doing, Miss Barbara? Thank you so much. So, do y'all like this? Originally, I was going to put these on the windows, like right here, but I don't think they need it because it's pretty. You love it? Is there a filter on my video? Yes, ma'am, Miss Connie. And I won't do it again because nobody seems to like it because it um, makes them dizzy. It's beautiful. Thank you. I'm glad you're doing well. I should send you some faux grass. <laughs> if you have some. But it would look cute, wouldn't it? This is our church. I really like it. I may go on the edges with some darker gray, like around the doors. Tanya made this out of 4x4. Four four. Yes, it's a 4x4, four four, and there's a link to Taterbug, and thank you, Miss Lynn, for saying that. Miss um, Pat has put it on here several times, the link to Taterbug, and you can get a church um, and do something similar like this. Or you can even just draw your windows on there. You do not have to uh, buy the windows like that. Thank you for the hearts. Y'all are so sweet. 
Now, Friday night, I'm going to be on here at 6 o'clock um, Central for Craft Round the Clock. So, I will see y'all then at 6. I'll get on early. There's Miss Pat putting the link on there for Tater Buggin. So, if y'all do want to purchase one of her kits, it's similar to this church, okay? Thank you, Miss Marilyn. You're so sweet. Y'all have a good evening. I really appreciate it. Miss Janice, this is so heavy. I don't know how much it would cost. So that's the reason why I'm giving you Tater Buggins um, link because she can um, send them out probably easier. And this is so heavy because it's a four by four. I just wanted a church myself, but I'll probably end up giving this. Um, yes. It's central time for Craft Around the Clock at 6 on Friday. And anybody that wants to put their own crafts out there, y'all can do it on Hummingbird Crafters. So join that. And thank you, Miss Pat, for putting up those links for me. You're so sweet. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you, thank you. Y'all have a good evening, and I will see y'all on Friday. And um, hope you have a good night. And I won't put this on here anymore so y'all don't get dizzy, okay? Y'all have a good evening. Bye-bye.